worked hard to get more than $252,000 cash back for our viewers, but some requests you can't put a dollar amount on. Recently, the USO asked for help, and Contact 6 was ready for duty. Passing through the airport, you might not see it. Just got off the plane. But Laura Bernard did. Look at you, buddy. you making a mess. She has two little ones, and she's on her own with them, traveling from Baltimore to Orlando. Peanut butter face. Her husband, Robert, is stationed on a ship in Florida. Actually, we just walked right by. We were on our way uh, to the gate when we saw the children's area. We saw USO, and so we, we just came in. Think of it as a safe haven for tired troops. Some place for quiet time, some place that they can, can get a little nourishment. Uh, we have soda and juice and snacks for them, and, and uh, just, you know, some place that out of the hubbub of the airport. It's very clean, um, Elmo's great. <laughs> yeah, so there's toys here, there's books. Um, they're enjoying it. They're, they're, my kids are doing um, really well. They like being here. But what if there was no Elmo, or at least no cable TV or internet? When the USO Lounge and Concourse D opened in September, Time Warner Cable didn't have it hooked up yet. There was some misunderstandings along the way. Apparently difficult to coordinate between Time Warner, the USO, and airport management to get the cable to the lounge. When it hadn't been done by November, USO volunteer Larry Clark filed a complaint with Contact 6. I know that Contact 6 takes care of things. In a matter of days, Time Warner told us it had contacted the USO and a business class engineering coordinator was on it. Said we're going to start working on uh, what you need and then three days later they had the cable in <laughs> and then two days later we had the phones and the internet in. More than I expected because it was seemed like a blink of an eye and, and uh, all of a sudden we had the, the TVs. Glad Contact 6 could be of service to the United Service Organizations. It's a very nice service. I, I think the USO is very needed and it helps support the families. Be sure to remember the USO during this season of giving. I'm Katrina Cravey, Contact 6. Well, by the way, the USO needs volunteers and sponsors to keep the lounge open 24-7. So if you'd like to get involved, we have a link on our website.